Welcome to the Weird and the Weary. I'm Jason. With me is Kevin. Hey, everybody. And Lee. Hey. And, uh, you know, it's been a long week. And uh, this story, I, I mentioned it a couple episodes ago. I said I was going to do it. <laughs> this is a tough one. This is a tough one for me. I'm, I'm really kind of... Uh, it's It's bothersome. Parasites are bothersome to me. Do you think that we're going to lose a lot of people because of this show? I don't Do we know. run the risk? I don't know. Because this topic is its kind of... Uh, it, it's like one of those ASMR kind of things a little bit, too. Ooh, I feel like it's the opposite. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the general uh, consensus, yes. It, it's quite the opposite. Um, now, there's, there's a lot of ways to get close to nature. You know, uh, you kind of help Greenpeace, you restore forest, you plant saplings. You ever oh. do that? I, I actually have, and I probably should well, next Green Day. I, I did that when I was a kid. Tree Day, what is that? Uh, Arbor Day? No, it's Green Day. You were right. Yeah, green whenever day. Green Day comes into town. <laughs> I, I plant trees for Green Day. <laughs> I pl- planting for Green Day. I just really love all their songs, and I, I love trees. That's the Green Day. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Arbor Day. Uh, you don't have to do it on Arbor Day. Uh, I did well the kids, so I guess I have done it. Oh, I've uh, never actually done it. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we we tended our little saplings all you know a couple months until they Johnny hemp seed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> My dad was a tough but fair guy. You know, he shared. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have a few. Go ahead. I don't mind. Nice. You could pick up trash, clean up the environment. You know that that helps. One handed. One handed. Right. Just well, what do you do with the other hand? He wrote about his experiences. Business. Ooh, smart. Yeah. That's a win-win. <clears throat> yeah, it's someone holding a clipboard. You could like donate enough to even like get your own roadside. You know? mm. Like this is uh, cleaned by Kevin. Ooh. Yeah. You know, if you get oh, picked you don't, up for like loitering on this on this roadside, you'd be like, "This is mine. It's mine. Uh, this, this is my loiter space. This stretch of mile, it's mine." I've cleaned up soil diapers from this highway, not you. Yeah. There's some nice stretches that you can kind of hang out underneath. Oh, know, yeah. I, th- I think you get privy to, like, all of that. Yeah, yeah. It just says uh, don't hang out near the road when there's traffic going on. That's, right. That's about it. I, mm. Unless you want to try to catch the garbage as they toss it out. Nice. Just try to, like, one smooth motion, try to boomerang it back in the window. Wow. You, you, you can do that? No, I can't. That's why I don't do it. Because it may wind up in the next person's window. <laughs> it's well, just happened to pass by. <laughs> that's paying it forward. Hey, yeah. There it is. You know, somebody else's problem now. Someone threw their trash into my car. I'll throw it. <laughs> oh, the... Now, now there's others that, that are willing to get closer to nature because it, you know, it's their job and, and, and they love it. Uh, you know, it's a field botanist. Uh, a little too much. Uh, a little too much. Uh, you know, there are people that just kind of take refuge in the wilderness you can do that i thought about it you know, not anymore not after this you know i just just too much how long was that first adventure what the first time i tried to go in the wilderness yeah like into wild crack house oh like when i burned my social security card and all that like like that movie <laughs> um, oh yeah ah god yeah it took about 15 minutes because then i realized i needed coffee I had no money. I burned all my cash, too. I realized he just burned his credit cards in that movie. He didn't burn his cash. Uh, um, I fucked up. I just threw my whole wallet. That movie was sad. It took a while to get it lit, too, because I didn't have anything to light it with. And trying to light leather on fire it takes a little bit. Were you just trying to, like, roll the sticks together really fast? <laughs> yeah, because I was going, like, full-on primitive. Nice. Quest for fire. Right. That's cool. So I started, like, rubbing it on a piece of rock for a while and sure. grunted. It didn't work. Huh. <laughs> didn't work. Somebody stole it. That's why. Oh, <laughs> that's the fastest way to get rid of things. It is. It really it really is. Just Besides it giving it away. Right. <laughs> and uh yeah, so sometimes in, in rare cases though, when you're in, while you're out in the field and in these remote parts of the world, mm-hmm. uh you you'll you'll come in contact with parasites. Of course. Long, two-legged kind? The two-legged, four-legged, eight. Sixteen. No-legged. I don't know. Yeah, just all these different types of weird, rare, kind of uh, messed up things that you can just contract while working. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. What are one of the things you can contract? Praise hell. 
Now, one of these is, uh, it's the, the Dermatoba hominis. Oh, I hate those. Or the, the Cutebra, or, or the Botfly. Cute bra. Uh, that's cute. pretty cute, bra. Far from cute a cute bra. bra. <laughs> Maybe I, it, it looks like a bra when it comes to, no, no. Nope. Maybe it's like a Greenland situation. They're just trying to fake people out. Uh, yeah, the Botfly. The Botfly. Oh. Now, now, uh, now, now, a Botfly... If you're, if you're not familiar, it's like a fly. It's just a regular old fly, but when it spreads its eggs, it it, it does it in a way that uh, it's kind of crafty, and it's just my type. It, it, really, <laughs> she's it's crafty. Great. <laughs> you know, through evolutionary standards, it, this is pretty cool. Uh, normally, if a like a horse fly lands on you to bite you, you're smacking at it. You want to kill it. Oh, I hate thing. those yeah, fucking those things. Oh, oh, yeah. In the water, a, especially in the water, and yeah. your, your, your upper body's exposed, right. and you fucking mm-hmm. feel that right shit. Right nipple. That's the horse. Ah. You wish you had a war horse tail. You need one. Just oh. carry one around. You guys, you guys don't? Well, I got mine taken away when I was a kid. We don't flagellate. No. No. <laughs> now, no, the bot fly doesn't uh, just land on you and... Hey, have some of me, have my little line. No, no, no. The bot fly will go and uh, kind of just drop its its little clutches of eggs off. Um, it'll it'll lay them and keep them on its body, and then it'll go and like rub up on mosquitoes. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? hey here, here, here. Take this, take this. Yo, hold something for me. <laughs> uh, or common house flies. Uh, you know, be like, hey, bro, check me out. Look, oh, you know, just like. Rub it full of eggs. Ooh. And then when the mosquito makes contact with us, uh, it leaves a little little hole after <sighs> it draws. And, and the spot fly uh, egg is kind of just... Way. And the larvae is active inside. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's, it's like a, what the, the, the jumping bean. You know, that's just a, it's a little larvae inside the egg. So, so it, it sucks you out. It just leaves a little hole. And it's like, bloop, bloop. <laughs> just right out. One drop. Uh, yes. So this is oh, how that's so up. nasty. Yeah. That is so that I'm itching right now. I'm like I cannot stop right now. Oh, sorry guys. I don't actually have screens on my windows. It's just bugs flying in now. Oh, son of a bitch. I get lonely. And it, it it's not just, it doesn't just go on humans because in my in my study of the bot fly, uh, it, it there's like images of kittens, uh, oh. uh, dogs, uh, rodents. Uh, you know, it doesn't discriminate what kind of. Dermis, it, it wants to sure holds dig a hole into a hole the hole. Just whatever. it's warm, it's living. Oof. Now this was taken into account uh, quite a while ago uh, by Mark, Mo- Doctor Mark Moffat, aka Doctor Bugs. Um, he's a uh, he's named after Bugs Bunny, right? Hey, what's up, Doc? No, oh. he's named after these gross things. Uh, maybe not just bot flies only. You know, he he loves bugs. Yeah, mostly flies. He's he's really in the flies. An entomologist from Harvard, and on a trip in Belize, he he got one of these bot flies, and he documented the birth in a short little video. Uh, did a couple interviews on it. Now, watching this was tough. This is like I said earlier. This is a tough thing for me because uh, it was in the back of Mark's hand, and. Like hand injuries, foot injuries. Uh, you know, maybe it's just some. I'm afraid of Jesus. Like, you know, the whole stigma <laughs> thing. You know, I don't know. They weren't the palms. You know, like, oh <laughs> shit, here comes. Oh, he's back from the dead. Ah, right. right, look. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Open your mouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you like what you see? This hole is showing something. No, I don't. <laughs> um,. So yeah, he had this bot fly. Uh, he birthed a bot fly from the back of his hand. Ugh. Here, check this. Check this out. Oh, look at this, everybody! Oh, oh, wait. Wait. It's coming out. It's coming out. Oh. 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 Are you kidding? Oh man. Okay. Well, that was. That was, I think it's a girl. It's a girl! It's a girl! Congratulations. Oh, cigars. So, 
It's a girl. It's a girl. Gross. That, that's I one hate the, it. That's one of the nastiest things I've ever seen. I, I'd rather watch elephants give birth than look at that again. But, like, who is that guy? The, the, oh, the one guy that sounded like he really enjoyed it. He's like, oh. <laughs> Like that's what I mean, you know, like a little bit of ASMR, like, oh, look at that thing come out. I think that oh, was... Mark. It might have been Mark. I don't know. I think it was. You know, the, everything's focused right on the uh, the larva coming out. The writhing, the birth, writhing maggot. Yeah, caress. And it, it left behind like a good five centimeter hole. It was a nice big hole. Uh, that's pretty, pretty rough. It looked like a nasty tardigrade. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was just like kind of flopping around, you know. Just bleep, bleep, bleep. yeah, it was a big tardigrade, big, big water bear. Yeah, yeah not microscopic. No, they're kind of cute in the microscopic, but something happened when it got that big. Oh, you know, they also uh, the bot fly also leaves its eggs on ticks, certain varieties of ticks. Oh, yeah, right. so, just double down is the worst shit ever. Yeah, it's just a fucking horrible thing. Ticks and bots. <laughs> thought I'd throw that in there for you. Yeah, this birth of <laughs> any tryptophobia fans. <laughs> uh, this birth <clears throat> occurred on uh, December second, two thousand ten. So this thing's long fucking dead. Thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> but its progeny live on. Oh, I hope not. I hope they just ate it or something. I don't know. I mean, just uh. you know how many flies there are in the world. Lots. So you're saying we need to set Lots. fire to everything. Lots of bots. Uh, yeah, just set everyone on fire because there's really a <laughs> chance that there's a bot fly in there somewhere. Yeah, fire somewhere. does purify. Yeah. Mm. Saw that happen in a show recently. No. Oh. Too soon? <laughs> nope. The, these wounds are, are they're painful. They, you know, they're big, boily, pussy, they, fucking gushy. Like, the, the, the worm is inside and just eating... All this, uh, you know, pus that you're making. Mm. That's what it feeds off of. Delicious. Um, <laughs> oh, what time is it? Up oh, dinner time. Oof. In got tw- a real pussy eater over here. Oh, I ate ooh. a big fat steak. Oh, he's poking at it. I think you got some fingernail dirt in there. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, a couple days, that's going to be yummy. You know, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it, 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 like in 2017, oh. uh, uh, Peter Nasrecki, or Nas. Nas Kreki, I think that's how you say it. Uh, he's famous uh, for euthanizing a uh, South American bird spider um, and linking its size to that of a, a puppy. So it got kind of sensationalized that uh, you know scientists euthanized a puppy and you know this guy's out here killing puppies. Right? He's even asked like, "Why did you say puppy? You could just say like rat." He's like, "I don't like rats. You know, I like I don't like puppies. I like spiders. So, you know, I didn't." He didn't want to kill the thing. Oh, you know, okay. It wasn't like he's out there just, oh, look at this giant fucking thing. Yeah, let's kill it. Uh-huh. You know, no, he, you know, there, was a, there was a reason. Mm-hmm. Um, he wanted to research. He wanted to eat it. Um, yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, also in Belize. So Belize seems to be a trend. Cool, so I'll just never go there. Right. So. Uh, I mean, there's some slamming techno. Uh, it's like good party scene by the by the by the sea, mm-hmm. and then you just get fucking bot flies if you leave that area. It's probably most likely the uh, climate. The climate's just right for them to thrive there, and that's most likely why that happens. I'm never going either. Not anymore. Nope. Not after last time. In in his <laughs> blog, he uh, he wrote about the ordeal that he went through um, in the name of science. Because this becomes like a badge of honor, like a rite of passage for these uh, field uh, biologists. You know, they kind of, um, you know, if it happens, they just, most of them let it happen. You know, just kind of like like, like Mark Moffat. Uh, Peter looked into getting rid of it because he said that he was out in the field doing doing some his research. And uh, later that day, his arms started feeling itchy and a little, little, little weird. And then the next morning, he, he saw the, the telltale, um, kind of like a snorkel that the uh, the bot fly has that it pokes out of the pore that it invaded, and that's how it breathes when Ooh. it's uh, growing in you. It's got a little extra tube? Yeah, yeah, like a little, like a little, you know, little, sure. like, uh, kind of like a tire uh, uh, nozzle. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. About, yeah, kind of oh. like that. 
That'll make oh my, my arm look oh a lot better. Oh, jeez. These are on both forearms. I just had to put some air in my tire, too, so I had that imagery so fresh right now. It's like wiggle, wiggle. Hey, it's Fred. So Mark Moffitz was on like the, the, <laughs> the meaty chunk here on the hand by the uh, the thumb and the fo- in the index finger, like in that you know if you look at the video, well left hand. So that's that's a that's that's got to fucking hurt too. Oh no no, it's, it was more like here. Oh, it was right. Yeah, it was yeah, more sorry. like up in yeah, here, right but in here. still that right. hurts. Yeah, that must like hitting that against the edge of a right. desk. So kills. it's on the back of the hand. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. past the thumb a little bit. It's like right around. Yeah, here. like near the wrist. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to watch it again. So, I, you know, it's it's blurry to me. I don't want to. I, just, I see. I see it. I've already out. watched I see it. See it in my mind's eye. I've watched it four times, and that's enough. Oh, I watched it fully for one minute, no, the whole time. Yeah. And well, Peters were uh, several more on his forearms, both of his forearms. Oh God, jeez, I've only got two arms. Right. I'm gonna smack you really hard on the forearm. Okay. And then see. That hurts. Right? Yeah, yeah, that definitely hurt. What the hell? I what? thought you were just fooling around. No, no. I, this that would is have been a, a grievous live, injury. It's a live recording. Oh, we're recording. Hello there. I want you to understand <coughs> Peter's pain. I want you to understand, you know, what he had to go through just momentarily. It's like a, it's like a nurse who really doesn't know what she's doing. She keeps rolling your vein, repositioning the needle. Oh, yeah. That happened to me once in the ER. Uh, 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 happened to be a male nurse who... He jabbed so deep, he hit the bone of my arm. Oh, that Ooh. snuck. And while it was still in there, I said, if you do that again, I'm going to smack your fucking face off, I think I said. I wasn't feeling well. So, you know, I was just in the bad. ER. Especially after you get stuck in the bone. <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to go get someone else. You guys, you guys anyway. don't like getting stuck in your bones? No, no. I like my bones being <laughs> just like no holes, nothing. I'm going to smack you in the fucking mouth. I'm going to smack your fucking face off or something like that. Or smack the mustache off your face. Is that know. where face off came from? Uh, yeah, Ang Lee was, he was there. He's like, oh, sh- I'm feel better now. That's it, Dips. I'm going to slap or your was facial hair off. Was that Ang Lee? Face off? No. John Woo. John Woo, right. Sorry. Woo. Woo wee. <laughs> oh, and you know what else I didn't mention? It takes about seven to ten weeks for gestation for these bots. Ooh, I, that's a long. long. How long? Seven to ten weeks. Do I get the little snorkel edition the whole time? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it, it <laughs> kind of just pops out when they need it. Oh. Like, <gasps> so oh, that's good. I'm going to eat some more pus. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Diving back down. It's that's like some Super buddy. Mario Brothers Super Mario Brothers shit. Yeah. Because they're, they're a pupa. They're, they're a maggot. Guys, they're a maggot. They're yeah, maggots. maggots. Mm. I hate saying that word. Yeah, this Those whole words. thing is getting delicious. <gasps> maggot roof. Yeah, Peter admitted he didn't use any uh, insect repellent. He didn't spray any deep that day. Moist he maggots. Had fi- he had to finish that. The moist. He had, to f- he had to finish that up. He had to finish his work up, so he didn't spray any any of that deep, you know, off. He would have been kind of protected. <laughs> yeah, that stuff's pretty horrid. That that deep. Yeah. You, yeah, you don't want that in the open pore. <laughs> I mean, like I grew a nipple somewhere. Ooh, like I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Total recall. But yeah, he he let it he let it go because he went to get it looked at and they said, Hey, it's grown a little bit too big, we're gonna have to do some like minor surgery. Yeah. He's like, Nah, I'm just gonna go home and let it grow and You can't just like punch that thing and move on with your life. That's what I was thinking, or just pick at it. No, they said they need to like oh, do some incisions to get it out because it had grown, you know, a little bit too big to usually they'll do like uh a suction, kind of like a dental suction, you know, like yeah. in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll use one of those to pull it out. Oh, perfect. I hope it's the exact same one they use for me, the dentist. Uh, they just, might just recycle them, rinse them. I just borrow my friend's Dyson, the handheld one. Oh, like, yeah. That was, yeah. yeah. They like do, just like do burst. Oh, smart. Some veins might even come out. It might work. I, I just use the water pick in case he gets thirsty in there. The oh, you see, you, see, so you're going to birth it. You're, you would birth it all the way? Oh, you got to. I mean, it sounds like everybody else is doing it. I give into peer pressure pretty easily. You'll be part of a club. Yes. You know, that you may not want to be part of. Want a little beer, buddy? <laughs> I mean, there's other, there's other methods. You don't have to go to the doctor. Oh. You can use duct tape. You can use... Uh, oh, you like, mean just like put it over the pour and just like... Shoop. You could try that, yeah. Rip, pull yeah. the tape off. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, that's how you're supposed to, like, well, you can do that for uh, splinters. Or you right. can use Elmer's glue. Oh. 
I mm-hmm. just use super glue. I want to keep it in there. I used to do that just to like make the fake, you know, like I'm ripping my skin off. Well, yeah, but oh, that yeah, works like with that works with splinters. Well, ones that are too deep. Well, if I knew it was one of those motherfuckers, I'd throw some super glue right into my veins, mainline that shit. Nice. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I can't move. Arm and all the whole fucking thing. I don't give a shit. It's stone done. Turn to clay face. Oh, that sounds kind of cool, actually. I'll change your appearance. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, during this uh, Hush. incubation or, you know, gestative phase, whatever you want to call it, however you want to look at it. I don't want to look at it at all. Two little... I pl- call it the nasty phase. <laughs> insects, placentas on your forearm, you know, you're like, I'm double the mother now. Oh, I'm sh- twins. Dude, this is a Cronenberg story. Come on. Uh, I mean, right there. It's body horror. God, you're putting the sex in insects. Highly painful. <laughs> highly, highly painful. You know, I mean, you're... You don't realize how many times you bump your forearm. Like, slapping Kevin in the forearm was, you know, something I just wanted to do. Yeah, that still stings. I'm not sure you did that for anything. Well, think about it. That could be the bot flag. Are you mad at me? I don't know. (laughs) I'm just scared. I'm really, I just, you know. Are we not friends anymore? (laughs) Is this the the best friends gone? I really thought there was a bot flag coming out. Oh, well. That's just all I see. I just got a long hair there. Oh, that's weird. You might want to get that plucked. Nah, that's fine. It goes away sometimes. It's like it's, wind, it's waving. It's like as long as his forearm. That's crazy. It, you tied it around your arm. Yeah, he's well, petting that's it. called fashion. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, you're ahead. You're a thousand years ahead of us. Yeah, wow. it's cool. So he had to start wearing long sleeve shirts. He had to like start hiding his pregnancy. <laughs> Would it like bump up sometimes? But what air? No, it started like, just like leaking blood and oozing pus, and you oh. know, like that's just not like oh. you know. I wear my sleeves rolled up a lot, so it would just right. imagine that. Hey, bro, what's up? Let's let's uh, let's let's talk about some shit, and I just you know hand you a croissant. <laughs> What the my, fuck? Yeah, it's okay. It's just my my baby. You're like, hey, how you doing? And it comes out high fives, right? Yeah, good. with its oh, little uh, like like a little like snorkel, yeah, like an alien mouth or something. Yeah. But hey, <laughs> right, Brundlefly. Did you say Grundlefly? <laughs> Brundlefly from David Cronenberg's The Fly, 1986. Watch that with your girl tonight. Just hold her close. I don't think we're gonna do that. She'll never hold you close again. You're not going to hold each other close ever again? No. After watching The Fly, my ex-wife, like, literally... Don't arm wrestle. That started probably the divorce proceedings that we watched It was the all fly. downhill from Are there. Are serious? Yeah. She was like, that was the most intense, worst movie I've ever watched. Oh. I can't believe you had me watch that movie. Oh. And I was like, nice. I did it. I saw yeah. that in the theater. This shit was intense. That was a great movie. I love that movie. I was 11. On the level of grossness, is it like the hostile eye goops cutout situation? No. Okay. Uh, I think it's a little... No. I mean, okay, so modern effects... I mean, come on, there's the arm, I would say arm the puke shock. scene. Yeah, that's yeah, the hand. The hands. Yeah. Like, see, hostile's... The leg. Hostile's... <laughs> <laughs> hostile's murder porn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Saw Torture porn. porn. Torture porn. Yeah. Um... The fly was, you know, it's man becoming beast and uh, that struggle. I mean, the old the old movie, Vincent Price, you know, is a little corny, but it's the same message. Yeah. You know, like, don't, 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 don't overstep your bounds. You're not, you're not better than. They had a dude with a uh, fly head and yeah. then they had, didn't they have a fly with a dude's a little human head? Oh. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Right? And he was stuck in the web. He's like, help me, help me. Yeah. Okay, it's like Mars Tax with the little Vincent dog Price. with the human head. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Going. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good old Vincent Price. Help me. Help. Maybe that's what, is that how it would help me? <laughs> I'm Vincent Price. Can you spare some Jack? Today, I can't really do a good one. Today, no. I mean, I'll try later. I'll, I'll do it later. Just, just listen to Thriller like a hundred times you'll have it. Is that the guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, thriller. All right. Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, yeah. He was the creator. Okay. All right. Yeah. Like, gave me the sauce. I know. Gave yeah. Me the sauce. Give me the sauce. Me up. Sauce. So Peter wrote that you know he felt that he had completed a rite of passage. He's he's, he's you know, birth two bot flies. Um, <laughs> or he thought maybe he's just crazy and has toxoplasmosis now. You know, like. <laughs> I wonder um, if he named those fuckers. Uh. Benny and June. I hope not. I didn't see on his blog post. 
that he did or not. He didn't mention that. He kept that secret for himself. Right. That was, yeah. Tromeo private. and Julia. Private. <laughs> you got to be part of the club to find out. Now, there are people, there were people, there are people too that they, they do this. Uh, they do take this as a uh, self-infestation as something like a diet means. This this has happened in the past. This is in like 1830s up into the 1900s. Oh, it's not happening now? Well, it happened recently in 2017 where two women uh, had ingested tapeworms in Japan. Ooh. And uh, they ate a variety. They had a variety that um, instead of like filling their uh, intestinal tract with their length, Mm-hmm. Um, they did the they did that not as in, in great numbers. That's what makes people stop eating eventually. Is uh, you know, your intestines fill up with their with the worm. Okay, um, and you don't eat anymore, and then eventually you'll die. You'll die, right? And you know, <laughs> it's great. It's good shit. But this worm was giving them uh, like dysentery. Whoops! So they were getting like you know, I mean, they were going to get sick from either one, but yeah, they're getting dysentery from this type of worm. I. I Sorry, everyone. I, I didn't really want to look up the genus or anything. I, I'm sorry. You know, I saw like oh. pictures of like old Japanese art showing how like they would remove them. Um, basically, if you put a bowl of water out, the, the worm beckons to this water. It goes and, to the water. Yeah. yeah. And like they in the drawing, you know, it's like this guy just resting his elbows on a pillow with his asshole out and just this worm coming out into the bowl of water. And it's like a, a row of people. So it must have just been a bad, bad pork night or something. I don't know. But everyone just gathered around. They're all just watching. Well, people uh, not washing their no, hands they, properly. No, people were uh, 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 worms were evacuating their buttholes, and, and uh, there Ooh. was uh, you know like nurses or whatever you want to call them helping. The, yeah, is this the new Dune movie by Dennis? Is that what Dennis is doing with Dune? Yeah, I think that's why it's taking so long to make it. The they sandworms got to infest everyone. Thank you, Mister Villene. <laughs> I love it. I love I can't wait to see it. It's going to be good. I That's think. some spice. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> that was bad. It's fucking spicy. What's it? I, I wonder what the spice really smells like. It's I think cinnamon. cinnamon and nutmeg. That's what they said in the book. Cinnamon, cinnamon. right? Cinnamon. Um. So yeah, like like I said though, this this I mean, like you could eat tapeworms, get little pills. Uh, I mean, this is the era of like putting arsenic on your skin to keep it white and. Um, you know, like snort ammonia or whatever. That was not keep, Madame Walker. Keep the I'll devil out of you. you know, like just, just drink a cup of ammonia, and the devil will not touch your butt. I don't know. I just, but yeah, there was like a pill form. You take it weekly, and it was to keep you in corset shape. Because you know, a woman's job is to be beautiful only, or whatever. I don't know. Objectified. Yeah. Like my daughter got told recently because she just bought her car. Mm. I think did I mention it last? I don't know. If it yeah, was, yeah, uh, you did. That what the guy said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, the, the only good thing about being a girl is getting low car insurance. You know, so like mm. the only good thing about being a woman, is you can eat tapeworms. Ooh, oh, yeah. a corset. Look at this. Corsets are fucking crazy. I'm so jealous. There are women that I think they're somewhere will remove parts of their ribs to have like that perfect shape. Wearing corsets and forcing their bodies and oh. contorting it in that way. It's crazy. Yeah, that is nuts. Um, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know if they're removing ribs. I know that no, no, they, I'm saying they, like they that push, was an older yeah. practice. Right. Yeah. I mean, Some I think it's shows. rumored Cher removed ribs. Cher? Yeah, but I don't think she did. So there's right. that rumor about Marilyn Manson, Manson back in the day, too. Right, to, to yeah. S, yeah. S sound as though D. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like not worth worthy surgery. I don't know. But, it's that um, early BBL shit. Now, oh, Mark, for one second, um, this tapeworm eggs is a bullshit thing. So don't. I'm gonna say it, but you know, like it was made on it made on the news. I jumped around, so I'm gonna go to Jasper after this. So. Yeah. Um, okay, and Mark, uh, yeah. So I mean, just like that attention earlier, like I said in 2017, um, you have the, the women eating them. Uh, Media attention was also put on tapewormeggs.com, which is still there. Uh, it's a shady Russian site that uh, claims to sell you know high grade tapeworms that you could uh, lose weight, prank friend. Uh, prank friend is how it says on the website. Um, <laughs> prank friend. Wow. Oh, got you. You got a tapeworm. <laughs> um, and you can just PayPal them, and it's like this weird looking 
bottle of tapeworm. It just says tapeworm. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's like bullshit. But it got like a little attention. Like, oh my god, I really saw it. Yeah, I, you got some knows? tape. I don't know, Kevin. Hey, you got PayPal? Oh yeah, I do. I definitely do. You guys need me to order some? Well, you do this for the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, will you eat them for the show? Uh, I'll give you a little bit of like incentive. Ooh. When I when I was a little younger, my um, best friends were my buddy and PayPal. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I thought you were going to say your friend had a tapeworm. Yeah, tapeworm. I definitely thought that's where that story was going. No, my grandma always used to ask me that when I ate so much. Boy, you got a tapeworm? Not yet. I'm trying to find him. Wow. <laughs> what, what you punching over there, boy? Sorry, I'm just. He, I'm, he, I'm he just trying so to get me back. Still. He just tried to get me back. I just he, missed. I heard him clumsy. And he punches his own mic. Why would you dare do this story? What did Pop. Mike do to you? Leave him alone. Michael. Stand over there. Now, there's another case uh, of some self-infestation. Uh, Why is this such a thing? I don't know. See, I, I got into this because I, I saw somebody like retweet an image of a guy like showing on his back the bot fly coming out. And he's like, I, what's wrong with people? And I, but it was an image, so I didn't, and you know, the, the at was, was blurred out, so I didn't see who it was. And right. It, so I, really, you... I did like a few like hashtag bot fly, you know, on Twitter, Instagram. There, I did see a um, Tumblr of another field biologist uh, giving birth to a bot fly with video and all that. I didn't watch it. Yeah. I saw enough with, with, uh, with, yeah. with Moffat and, uh, Peter's story. Sure. I don't, I don't need to see more. Nah, I'm two and through. Let's move on. Peter has a video too, so if you want to go and watch that. Yeah, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't watch oh, it. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Jasper Lawrence, uh, who lived in California, uh, found himself just plagued with allergies, um, and he had asthma, and he was just sick all the time, and no treatments were helping him. Nothing. Nothing was helping him. Um, it's like the guy from the infomercial. <laughs> right. He's, you know, like... Nothing's working. There's got to be a better way. Right. And he, like, stumbles and f- drops all of his uh, Aleve and, and Benadryls and stuff, you know, like... Um, I believe this is about, like, 2010. Um, he started um, looking into alternative medicine. And one of these alternative medicines that he read about was um, hookworm infestation now hookworms are um they're they're like a blood parasite um and they're contracted in a pretty unique way um they they can be contracted in 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 two in 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 a really unique way um the 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 main way that they they come through is through fecal matter through the feet (laughs) through the feet through the feet so Lots say, of hobbits had hookworms. Right. And now <laughs> that sounds, you know, like, oh, why would I be stepping in shit? But there's, you know, there's portions of the world where people don't have shoes or they're working in, without shoes or, you know, there's public <laughs> latrines and, and you're barefoot, you know, yeah. like it's just. It's just music festival stuff. Sure. And they're, you know, they're plumbers. Sure. Their feet. <laughs> um, as they travel up the pores of the feet and travel through the bloodstream. They uh, go into the heart and lungs, and then uh, they become airborne. In a sense, uh, not airborne where they'll live very long, but enough to like if a sneeze or a cough, and you get it in the face, you, you, you might get some hooks in you. Good wow. stuff. <laughs> Good. Hook, line, and sink. Good stuff. Nice. Now, he read <sighs> that these purify the blood. They filter the blood. They, they remove histamines. They... They, you know, they get rid of the stuff. They remove that's life. Bad. They, they eventually. Perfect. Um, that's just what I need. I was looking for that. So he decided to seek these out. He left California. Mm-hmm. Left sunny, beautiful California, and he uh, went and sought out the most feces-laden latrines in all of Cameroon. Ooh. Why Cameroon, pray tell? Cameroon, he read, had like the highest infest- infestation rate of hooks in, oh in the God. world. I wonder how much research this dude went doing. Um, did 
quite a bit. He went through like CDC records and all this stuff too. To like, hmm. he was very, he didn't want to wait ten years for some medical breakthrough. He wanted results now. So all this time <laughs> invested, would you say he was a hooker? Yes, <laughs> but he paid himself. Should have called JG JG Wentworth. I want my money now. I want my hookworms now. <laughs> And that he did. He did. He traveled all these latrines and just fucking went barefoot and like splash, splash, you know, kind of like uh, flash danced a little bit, you know. He didn't pour the shit on his head. He just poured it all over his feet. What a feeling. You know, that's just like chasing people into the bathrooms or something. He's like, no, 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 right. wait, shit wait. Shit on the floor. Shit on the floor. Shit on, shit on my feet. Like, how do you say shit on the floor in Cameroonian? I don't, you know, like that. that's the, probably the first thing he learned. Shit, no. Shit, no. Shit on the floor. It's just like twenty dollars. Shit on the. This is yeah. See, he probably did this at home, Jasper. He probably like just loving people. He probably liked to walk and poop. Yeah, probably. I could see him just like kicking open a stall door and just sticking his foot in there while somebody's in there. I get like violently upset when I step in the poop. I don't pick up from my own dogs. You know, I'm like fuck. Ah, it's because you kick this off in the yard. You know, but like this guy's just like man. <laughs> Taking my shoes off. This, yeah. is a, this is a good one. This is like a communal open shitter right here. Oh, this is a toe wiggler. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, well, this is a form of therapy. Stepping in shit? This whole worm thing is called helminthic therapy. Ooh. It's an experimental type of immuno- immunotherapy. It's a treatment of autoimmune diseases and immune disorders by means of deliberate infestation with the helminth or with the eggs of a helminth. Now, I mean, this is nothing new. Parasitic like, worms. Leeches and, and yeah. you know, all this weird shit, you know, like... Uh, this one, that's, that's a little crazier because you can introduce all sorts of other fucking things. Sure. Other health conditions. Right. Or if you're, you know, you don't stave it in time. You can, right, right. You, lungs could fail. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. I don't sneeze anymore, though. <laughs> because I can't breathe. Don't mind the blood. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> You know, yeah, it just sounds lovely. Oh, it's fantastic. Jasper claims, though, everything's good. He's cured. He has no allergies. He has no asthma. A whole bunch of other ailments are gone. Like arthritis, all this shit, you know, just gone from having about like 50,000 worms infesting his lungs and heart. That is so smart. This is what big medicine doesn't want you to know. Big pharma. Big Pharma. Five things they don't want you to know. It's like they're stocking up all these worms for the rich people. Oh, damn it. They got gold flakes in them. What the fuck? It's got silver in it. Silver oxide helped their blood. Maybe. You know, like that guy turned blue. He, he drinking the, the, the colloidal silver, you know, the colloidal silver. Uh, I saw a friend of mine drinking that. And I'm like, what? What the hell are you doing? She's like, oh, this is great. This keeps your colds away. And, oh, you know, and she's, she's a nurse. Like she's a nurse. And I said, the guy turned blue. You're going to turn blue if you keep doing this. And But this guy was drinking it by, like, a fucking gallon. You know? and, hey, you want some, some silver? Is that where the song came from? I turned blue. He's blue. Da, ba, dee, da, ba, da. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... Uh, if I was green, I would die. I heard that, but I disagree. <laughs> it's, it's like that other song, was it? The what they said on Sunny, the uh, the da ba da song, or the uh, de bow bow, <laughs> the de bow bow song. <laughs> it's always Sunny. Yeah, yeah, that's what they, they call it the de bow bow song. But maybe, maybe, maybe there is something to this. I don't, I, I don't know, and I'm not about to find out. I'm not about if I find any fucking thing living on me it's off i'll cut the fucking limb off first like you can't get rid of the bot fly yeah i'm losing my hand sorry yeah i think i'd rather have allergies than be infested with worms in my blood so, yeah so you mean to tell me that if i decided to become a foster parent for some bot flies you guys wouldn't want to do the recording with me? you're never allowed near us again never gonna record again right yeah, it'll well, like, well, I we'll thought, just go our separate ways. Like you could do your fucking seven, ten week birthing episodes and all. I figured it'd be I'll a surprise. About- I had a feeling you're going to do this, so I infested myself about nine weeks ago. <gasps> it's about ready. You want to oh see? My God. Wanna Wait, see? why is he taking his pants see? off? Ooh, yeah. See? Where did you let this What's thing right live? Here? See, it's sticking its head. Oh, it's oh, on his scrota. Uh, uh, uh. It's on his scrota. <laughs> no, that's just a skin tag. It's okay. 
I don't know about you guys, though, really. But if I mean, if, if, if you're going to go to extremes to have something living in you to lose weight, like, I don't or know. Or heal yourself. That gives you, like, violent, violent bowel movements. No, thank you. I'm just going to go to the gym. I'm just going to go to the gym. Stop. Why does, does Jim know where to get the good ones? Yeah. yeah, he does. Not the Russian shit. He knows where to get the real ones that fill your, your intestines all the way to the butthole. Hey, guys, who's Jim? Seven days. If you need to ask, you can't find out. Yeah, if you want to lose weight, don't eat parasites. Move more. Yeah, just swallow them whole. Right. (laughs) Or, I mean, if you like eating bugs, there are plenty of other options. You know, like mealworms, crickets. Oh yeah, those little things in the candies and stuff. Right. Right. Uh, Yeah, tequila worms. Just once you get to the empty um, into the bottle, the end of the bottle. You're going to not want to eat tapeworms. You're going to want to puke. Actually, that's weight eat. loss. Have you ever chewed on that worm? Yes. Yeah, rubbery. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Um, Just gritty. No. Yeah. Tastes like know. nothing. You're that drunk, you don't even know what it tastes like anyway. It was so like, glorified in that Born on the Fourth of July. Like, look at me. I'm killing myself yet again. Here we go. You know, like, it sucks the worm in. That was a weird movie. I don't know. Yeah. Still haven't seen it. No need. Sure. That's... Oliver Stone's best movie is Conan the Barbarian, and the best thing he ever wrote is called Conan the Barbarian. It's probably the best movie ever made. Sorry, guys. Oh, just to just to mention, did you guys see Arnold Schwarzenegger get drop kicked? In I South did see Africa? that. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rewind that. You mean did you see him get hit in the back and wonder what just happened? Oh yeah, there were didn't two seem angles. There were two angles. The first one I seen is the one where it's like you see it from his front. He's like, oh yeah. But then someone posted another one. Yeah, I saw you that see one. the guy kick him and he just like bumps up a few steps and he's just like turns around he's like what, what, what the fuck and yeah. then the bodyguards all over that yeah dude. that dude's like, huge that's what I'm saying man but he's like 70 something years old this I dude know. did a running drop kick yeah. that he was unaware of and just pushed him a couple of feet Botfly Botfly would just die inside of him he, you know, like he just yeah. he wake up and be like, yeah, yeah stretch and be like, flex would like explode it, <laughs> right? That little egg would be like, pew, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how he wakes up in the morning. He, well, I'm glad he wasn't hurt though, man. That was fucked up. Guys, no. like, give me a Lamborghini. It just, yeah. dude. If that was 30 years ago, he would have been like, yeah, you know, and beat his ass. Oh, dude, he wouldn't in the ass. That's the yeah. noise he always makes. I believe it. I'm starting to think <laughs> in my head cannon. I'm that's how I picture it now. Yeah. <laughs> He, he looks like a Russian bear doing that. <laughs> He's in there like brushing his teeth, like. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. All right, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> gonna ruin your voice you ruin my voice is your throat hurting do you need a bot fly <laughs> right in the throat yeah like a, a vocal bot fly i got some helmets in the back if you like helmets mm. helmets right helmets you is want the some helmets on your helmets Ooh, like a sandwich made of of, of blood worms of mm-hmm. the secret ingredient it's is like parasites mayonnaise and mayonnaise sandwich Ooh. i mean there's the other species of hooks that dogs get and that we can get to make your butt itchy. Oh, fun. no. Those are nasty. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why uh, you scoot on the floor every time I see you. I thought everyone was doing that. No. And it's funny. How he, do you notice how he lifts his legs like a dog, too? He's just like with his legs way up. He's like holding his leg. He Who's like this? walks with his butt. This guy. Yeah, yeah. this one left cheek, right cheek, right. left cheek, right cheek. He's just itching it's it up. Boot he's, scoot he's yeah, he's the boot scoot boogie. The boot scoot boogie. My dog does that. My dog does it all the time. Like oh. she doesn't even give a shit. You will just see her like walking, and then all of a sudden she'll just stop and streak. Ooh, she's older. She's older. No, she yeah yeah. Millie, she drops uh, she drops little nugs. How did yeah. I how did I know? She was sleeping on the couch. I'm like, oh, she's so nope. What the fuck is this? It's a little turd nugget. Is that a Reese's <laughs> Pieces? Thanks, Millie. She's a good dog. Yeah, she did eat something of mine though that she shouldn't have eaten, and. uh Kind of don't like her, but that's another day. We'll you'll, you'll like her again sometime in the future. No, I love her. I love her. I'm just going to beat her. <laughs> I mean, my arm is still a little red, right. so I I'm believe sorry. that. You kind of look like her. Oh. I mean, that's not too red. Hold on. Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> you guys suck. I don't want to do this anymore. Wait, I didn't get a good hit. Hold on. Ow! Ooh, that was a good one. God 
Team. Now, now that looks like a bot fly whelp, or a well, or what is that? A monkey bubble? Remember those? Monkey bubble. Yeah, when you do this. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, see see oh, the what whelp. The fuck. Oh no, they were. They used to call that frogs in my day. Oh, okay. It, it, would, it would look like it would be like ribbit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what monkey fucking bubble was, but you know that's what. I've I always never think, heard of any of these things. You always, guys were maniacs back learning, in the day. You're learning today. <laughs> the only thing that that thing that I think of is Falcor's back. That's that's what I think. Of oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like, I was like, I wouldn't want to ride in his back. He's nasty. Oh, see, I can't do it. I just did too many Arnold's. That motherfucker got shingles. No, been there. It's Falcors, his bot flies. Oh shit, those are big bot flies. <laughs> well, yeah, on that note, I'm gonna go to the urgent care and have him just check my whole body because I feel like this <laughs> I, thing... I can't stop bitching. God. I really can't. I'm gonna go watch Gremlins tonight and just fast forward to the part where they fucking you know. Oh, they spill the water and you start. Yeah, and, and they bot fly. They, they the, fly off. The, yeah. When they turn into gremlins, they kind of look like little bot fly. They even show the scene where there's a little embryo in there, fucking just oh. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. No, I'm not doing that. My oldest was just watching that yesterday. Gremlins, or yeah. the original? Nice. Yeah. Mogwai. Nice. I like the second I one. I told there's no reason to watch it past the first one. No, the I don't think I've good. ever seen any more than the first one. Wasn't there a gargoyle, gargoyle gremlin? There's a gargoyle. There's a spider gremlin. There's an electricity oh. gremlin. There was they a... got superpowers? <sighs> yeah. Is there some sort yeah. of gremlin they, Avenger they spinoff? Took, I don't know about No, they took over a fucking research lab. Yeah. Yeah. It was like 88, 89. But they got all the, the old Gremlins to the new batch. The whole old cast was there. You know, it was great. It was Billy. I, oh, you know what? I'll watch anything with Homegirl in it, though. With, Almost anything, but she doesn't act anymore. So, Mrs. Kevin Klein. Oh, right. Um, oh, geez, her name escapes me at the moment. Uh, Kevin Federline. <laughs> they've been married. Phoebe Cates. They've been married. What? Holy shit! Thirty years. Wow. Just about thirty years. That's great. That's great. Congratulations, Kevin and Phoebe. Thank you. We miss you. Phoebe Cates, Kevin Klein, thank you for Fast Time Ridgemont High, and Fish Called Wanda, and everything else, all those other good things. Yeah, I don't know who this girl is, but I don't blame you. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's She's quite quite lovely, quite, quite lovely. Phoebe Cates. Well, everyone... <laughs> I'm really just going to go dip myself in a vat of fucking alcohol, like rubbing isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, I got a deep bath waiting for me. <laughs> I can't even look at grass. I can't even like walk through grass. It's even short grass. <laughs> Everywhere like, I look, I see bot flies and ticks. Yeah, I'm just going to go throw up. I think this whole thing has put me off. Like I'm imagining anything. like micro ticks being the thing. Like, oh yeah, there's a regular tick, deer tick, and then there's micro tick. You know, you can't even see it. <laughs> He's, and it has bot flies all over it. You know, it's just like the best tick. Does Elon make those uh, fi- flamethrowers available yet? I don't know. I hope so. Well, yeah. I hope there's more because I need one for my body. Yeah, I need like five of those zappers for outside too. Be good to yourselves. Be good to everyone. If you're in Belize, use DEET. Watch out for the flamethrowers. Yeah, can you guys just like start some big fires out there? Just kill a lot of stuff. Right. Just engulf the whole fucking area with smoke. Get yeah. rid of all things. That would infest you like that. How about just have a barbecue? Can you guys just hot box Belize, please? <laughs> hot, hot they're box trying. <laughs> it's, it's, they're, there's an attempt. There's an attempt being made right now, I'm sure. Sign the petition to hot box that mob bot. All right, yeah. Keep yourselves clean, people. Watch out for those parasites. Practice hand wash safety. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to get tapered either. Don't, get, uh, don't forget to feet wash also. I don't know if you just walk around barefoot in the poop. Right, if you're in Cameroon, unless you really want it, keep your shoes on. Because you don't want it when you go into the bathroom, especially. Yeah, if you're barefoot, you're asking for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Jason. I'm Kevin. I'm Lee. And I'm grossed out. <laughs> I'm totally grossed out. <laughs> Catch grossed us online. www.weirdandweary.com. Catch us on Twitter, Instagram. You want to talk about anything like this? Info at weirdandweary.com. You can email us. You can DM us. I don't care. Whatever. This is too gross. Don't send me any pictures. Yeah, videos only, please. Yeah, only videos. Only videos. Yeah, if you have your own birthing, tell us about it. That'd be pretty. No sound. We put our own soundtracks in. Oh. Pull your pants up now. I don't want to see that thing come out. Oh. The bot fly. <laughs> All right. Taking my bot fly, I'm going home. 
It's a bot fly, not a butt fly. JKL Media. Jekyll.